Good morning, everybody. It's about seven o'clock in the morning. I've been awake since 4.15, 4.30, something like that, packing because I am a last minute packer. Um, Michael and I are traveling to Dublin, Ireland today, um, but we have a lot of things to do first. We gotta get Abra off to the babysitter. I've got to finish packing, do all my wound care on my, uh, my road rash wounds, and um, I gotta get going. Little trigger warning right here. There's gonna be a couple images of some road rash. I was a uh, pedestrian crossing the street, hit by a Tacoma about a week and a half ago. This is Monday, that was Thursday a week and a half ago. So still have some pretty gnarly road rash and I've gotta wound, uh, clean it and put wound care supplies on it and then cover it for the flight. Let me show you, uh, fast forward about a minute if you don't wanna see some road rash, but it's, it's pretty sca uh, scarred over, a little scabby and it's pretty healed. This is the one on my left thigh. I feel like it's looking pretty good. And one little piece of scab left I can't get off. And ooh, my left knee. This one still hurts pretty much. It smarts uh, because the skin doesn't want to stretch because of all the scarring, but I have great stuff to put on it. I've been leaving it open to the air with uh, antiseptics on it, but I am going to cover it for the flight. If anybody wants to know, this is what I'm currently cleaning the wounds with, putting the arnica around the edges of the wounds where there's bruises. Um, there's a wound care powder that goes with this, but I didn't put it on this morning because it tends to get very um, stiff and gritty. And I want my knee to be able to be as flexible as possible. And then hydrogen peroxide in a bottle. I'm taking all of this with me. I have a whole kit packed for Ireland. So right now, while I wait for Michael to finish at the gym, I'm going to eat my typical breakfast. You've seen this in many, many vlogs. Just three poorly scrambled eggs. <laughs> Salt, pepper, and chop house butter seasoning from Publix. You know us, we had to sneak in a last minute chiropractor visit, so um, we got adjusted, we're feeling great. Yeah. Especially me, I'm feeling like a million bucks. <laughs> and uh, now we gotta head home, grab the dog, grab our luggage, drop her off at daycare, and head to- The airport. The cute little Melbourne airport. To start the journey. Yay! 24 hour it's journey. It's gonna be about a 24 hour trip when you count layovers and all, but um, we are down for it because we are excited for Ireland. We head to Dublin at 8.05 this evening, but we've got to go through Atlanta. Yep. Uh, the Melbourne airport is adorable. You will love it. the babysitters at 10 15 it's 10 45 so we've been through TSA, to the airport on an international, park, flight. <laughs> international flight check bags through tsa that should have made, made the best of melbourne <laughs> melbourne's airport is such a breeze and it's so beautiful they're currently renovating it they've got some murals some nice escalators a really nice area for shopping they've got a little tiki bar which i think is adorable right in the middle of all the gates and my favorite part is this crazy bird of paradise carpeting we ate some parm crisp snacks and watched the Disney Cruise Line tour bus come and go. The flight to Atlanta took a little bit more than an hour. We were actually a little bit delayed because of some weather, um, but there were fun games in the plane that I could play um, on the screen in front of me. Atlanta Airport is humongous. I've actually never been through it before, but we had a really nice dinner here at Cadoba. Dirty carnivore, I guess you could say. No idea what that's cooked in. And saw some cool art. This dog right here is titled Bird Dog, and he's made out of hundreds of little porcelain birds. Our layover in Atlanta was originally supposed to be seven hours, uh, but since we got delayed because of the weather, it was more like five and a half. All right, it's about 10 till seven. We board at 710. Um, I'm showing you the inside of the uh, single person a handicapped bathroom. I actually, it's time to do my wound care on my road rash and I was really worried because in the bathrooms, uh, the women's bathrooms, there is not enough room for me to spread all my wound care stuff out and uh, actually get my leg up because I have to have it out straight to dress all this road rash. So um, I really felt bad about coming in here and using this, but I'm so grateful Michael found this actually. 
I'm so grateful because I have that big table over there and I can get my leg up. So I'm gonna hurry up and try to get in and out of here before somebody else who really, really needs it needs it. But um, thank goodness they have this and I can get cleaned. Everything can get cleaned up right here on the spot. I can get my wounds redressed over there, clean up, and I can be out of here. And in 20 minutes, we fly to Ireland. There was quite a bit of confusion boarding this flight because the uh, computer screens were saying different things than the announcers at the gate and their microphone wasn't turned on, so there was kind of a pandemonium trying to get on the flight. But it all worked out, everybody got on, and off we go. Michael and I were way too excited to get much sleep, so we watched an entire season of Dairy Girls, and then I watched a movie after that, played a bunch of games on my phone, and then played more games on the screen in front of me. We were too curious about what kind of food gets served on an overnight flight like this, so we had to order it even though we didn't eat much of it. In addition, they gave out complimentary red or white wine, tea, or coffee. Breakfast was fresh fruit and a muffin with egg and cheese. I just ate the egg and cheese off the top of the muffin and gave all the fruit to Michael. And just like that, we were landed in Ireland. Getting through immigration only took just a very few minutes, but it did take a very long time to get our luggage off of the baggage claim. We're staying at Clontarf Castle in Dublin, and I think I might actually do a whole video just on this castle because it's so beautiful inside and out. so excited to see there's a king size bed because Michael and I are really long and really tall and we need the extra room to spread out. Love this wallpaper behind the bed. It just it, it ties together so beautifully. The bathroom is stunning. I love these colors of gray. Really nice toilet paper by the way in case anybody wants to know. I like this shower. It's, it's a walk-in without a door. And hey there's me. Hello. Um, and Michael was thrilled to see that although we do have a converter and adapter, there were plenty of options for plug-ins for USB or just a standard American plug. My legs and feet got terribly swollen in the plane, so I had to actually rest in the bed for a while and prop them up. All right, guys, it's about 6 in the morning Florida time, 11 o'clock in the morning Dublin time. And I know this sounds really lame, uh, but Michael and I are actually going to take a nap. Um, I think we each slept maybe two hours on the plane and it wasn't really good sleep. But more than that, um, my legs are really, really swollen and it's been a full 24 hours since I was able to do some quality wound care on them. So I just got out of the shower, uh, gently cleaned all of the road rash, put new medicine on all of it, and I'm just going to leave it all open to air and catch a little nap. It does not suck napping in a castle. This nice book came in our room. It's the nicest book I've ever seen in a hotel room, I think, actually. And I went through it to look at the menu. I think we'll probably be doing dinner um, delivered to our room tonight since Michael and I are both pretty tired. Uh, but there was a lot of really cool information on the castle and how to get around town. It was just beautifully laid out and I enjoyed looking through this book. Um, I enjoyed reading the history of this castle and um, it was just beautifully presented and really nice. This is the view out of our window, which actually opens and the fresh air it's coming in. It smells so amazing. Um, we've been hearing kids play for the last few hours while we've been resting and it sounds like they're having a good time. Really happy. Just so beautiful. We decided to order room service for dinner and we each got a burger with no bun, some kind of cheese on it that we cannot pronounce. It came with fries. We didn't want to be picky and say no fries. We might have a couple of those. And then we also got, this is a dessert cheese plate, but it's just cheese and some crackers. So um, a little bit of chutney. I'm yeah, sure can't wait to see how this tastes. I'm yeah. so excited. Look, it even comes with real salt and pepper shakers. <laughs> Very cute. All right, well, Michael had to go down and check in with everybody from work. They're having a little drinks and, you know, kind of kick off their work week together. Um, but I'm going to actually stay in the room. My plan was to get out and go meet everybody or maybe get out and explore. But my legs are still so swollen from that flight. So I'm just going to stay in the room, prop them up, 
watch some YouTube. And um, probably when he gets back, we're going to watch season two of Dairy Girls because we got hooked on it in the in the plane. So that's going to conclude today's vlog. I think it's pretty obvious I'm not going to be able to get out of the room because um, of my legs. But that's fine. I've got the rest of the week to explore and have fun. Don't you just love this wallpaper? Look at that. I am so obsessed. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this vlog up here and tomorrow we will pick up with uh, whatever happens. I hope you're having a great day. I'll see you guys later.